Hello everyone, welcome back to my gaming review. I decided to make a quick video for today, or should I say tonight, but I want to make a video on the PS4 being a retro video game system, or being used for retro gaming. Now, I have a whole bunch of retro games for the PlayStation 4 console. I have retro games on all my PS4 systems, I have three of them. All right now I'm actually playing Pac-Man 256. But anyway, um, I have games like Dig Dug, Mrs. Pac-Man, Galaga, and so on, and also uh, I think the game Frontline, which is a very fun game. But using the PS4 as a retro video game console is actually pretty fun and pretty cool. There's a lot of amazing retro games for the PlayStation 4 on the actual store, as well as physical games such as the Sega Genesis collection, as well as some of the Atari collections that have come out for the system, um, which I have one of the Atari collections for one of my PS4 systems, but anyway, you know, using the PS4 system as a retro console is actually pretty fun. The console actually runs really nicely with retro games, and what I mean by that is that a lot, a lot of the modern games, a lot of the graphically, um, graphically powerful games make the fan go crazy and make it loud and make it run a lot harder. But when you play retro games on your PS4, it actually runs a lot cooler and it doesn't really get as loud as it does with you know, actual, like, graphically powerful games. But, <clears throat> it's been really fun using the PS4 as a retro game console, and even though, you know, some people might want to play on that system down there, like an original Atari, instead of playing Atari games on the PlayStation 4, some people might prefer to play on the original PS2 than play on the PS4, and, you know, I still use my retro game consoles for certain games, but overall, the PS4 can be used as a pretty awesome um, retro game console. Also, as time goes on, the PS4 will start to lose more and more support by Sony. Um, just like the PlayStation 3, one day Sony will eventually end the support for the PlayStation 4, like they plan to do with the PS3. But the good thing is, is that a lot of people have gotten into um, jailbreaking their systems, which again... I have not ever done this to my PS4 systems, and I do not plan on doing it any time yet. I might jailbreak my systems in the future when, uh, you know, when the PS4 starts to lose support, I don't have to worry about my account being taken from me. But apparently you could actually run retro arc on your PS4, and you can actually run a even more retro games on your PS4 by actually jailbreaking the console. You can get things like Retro Arc running, where you can actually play Nintendo games on your PS4, and, you know, so on, and even, you know, other, um, like, Sega games and Atari and stuff like that, which is actually really cool. Now, I'm not going to jailbreak my systems, because I don't want to get troubled by it. <laughs> Maybe in the future I will, and actually make a video on the process of jailbreaking um, the PS4 system. But, yeah, it's, it's pretty, pretty fun playing retro games on the PS4. And, um, I have, like, Doom 2 and stuff, and... You know, some games, it's kind of weird using the PlayStation 4 controller for retro games because a lot of these games have, like, two buttons when they originally came out. And with the PlayStation 4 controller, you have a whole bunch of buttons to use. But it's really cool um, playing games like, you know, Pac-Man, Galaga, um, the Atari uh, collection, the Sega Genesis collection, um, as well as the arcade games that have come out for the PlayStation 4 system. And you could actually turn your PS4 into a full-on retro, you know, gaming machine, basically. Because there really is a very good library of retro games on the PlayStation Store. There is even PlayStation 2 games on the PS4 Store. I have GTA San Andreas, Red Faction 1, Red Faction 2, and, you know, so on. So, the PS4 system can be actually used as a retro video game console. I know people probably don't use their PS4s, like retro systems, and there's probably not a lot of people that actually um, care to, because, you know, you have the new Call of Duty games, and you have these, you know, graphically amazing games on the system, and the PS4 exclusives that look really amazing, but just want to make a video saying that you can actually use this as a retro game system, um, even though it's a little weird using PS4 for classic Sega Genesis games and Atari games, but it can be used that way, and I sometimes use my PS4 just for classic video games like Pac-Man and Galaga and stuff like that. But anyway, I'm in the video, so hope everyone enjoyed the video. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Also, comment down below 
if you have any retro games on your PlayStation 4, or if you use your PS4 mostly for retro games, and tell me um, if you plan on getting some of these retro games for your PS4 system, or even your PS5. I mean, I think, um, you know, the retro games on the PlayStation Store will work for your PS5 as well. So, but tell me if you have, like, Pac-Man, Galaga, Dig Dug, or the Atari Collection or Sega Collection on your PS4 system, and tell me if you have used your PS4 for any retro games that you really enjoy and like. But anyway, I'm gonna end the video, so peace out. PlayStation 4 is awesome.